okay, I'm gonna make this video. Um, I don't know what's been going on lately for the past few weeks, but these gang stalkers, perps, have been insane. Like, how are corporate businesses participating in uh, community gang stalking? Why are so many people involved in it? And I know they jump on here fast, especially when they know I'm going live, so they can make fun of me and laugh and point the finger and try to dump out their toxicity onto me. Um, but no, that's not what this is for. Um, it's a silent war going on, and it's the Satanist against God's elect. It's the Satanist against God's sheep. It's been the same war from the beginning of time for he, for mankind. And it hasn't stopped. It's not going to stop until the end of the world. Until the end of this, you know, um, time frame, biblically. And I'm just at a, at a place where... Um, I'm very disappointed in humanity. No, I don't have any thoughts of harming myself or anyone else. I'm not on any drugs. I'm not on any hallucinogens. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. And um, everything that I say, I can bag it up with evidence. For sure, for sure. But I feel like people are bullied into silence. Bullying is a real thing, and adults bully adults, too. And children need to know that bullying doesn't stop when you leave the playground. Because if you go out here, it's a dirty playground. And people target and bully people they consider as weak. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate, it's unfair to the target. Um, and they definitely don't want you to have faith you know or hope that's their main agenda is to target your faith and your hope and make you feel hopeless and make you be full of fear and and to make you just um doubt they want you to doubt god they want you to doubt any escape route they want you to doubt that they can be defeated they've been defeated in the past and they but they have no idea that um, they'll they'll be defeated again. I've fought this for years, unknowingly at first, had no idea about the program until I actually began to research and try to figure out what was going on around me. Like, and I realized all those movies, The Truman Show, and uh, movies like that, they're based off of real, <laughs> real life scenarios. People are not that crea creative. They didn't just come up with these ideas for these movies um, off the top of their head from their creative imagination. Because why don't we have dreams about stuff like that? Transformers and aliens. And it was an idea planted into us to begin to think about those things. We didn't just come on the earth and think about these things. Um, man, I'm so disappointed in my loved ones. I'm disappointed in the community that I reside in. I'm just so disappointed in this program that they have, without my consent or knowledge, put me in this program to be harassed and stalked by these perpetrators on a regular basis. I have tons and tons of video footage of helicopters hovering over my house on a regular basis, color coding. Um, lately it's been army fatigue and baseball caps, um, triggers, trigger words, trigger phrases, 
to just rile you up. They'll have it all on your social media. Um, while you're out, you'll hear people conversating about a private conversation you've had with someone. So they do bug houses, unfortunately. Um, if you don't know about the program, then you're more than likely a candidate for being targeted. So I would suggest you really do your research and look into it. The hospitals participate, the psych wards participate, um, the community, the community. Most of the communities live off of this program. They basically, it's, it's really good against evil. It's like you have the evil people out and you have the, the lost sheep out there. And the evil people, they group together and they target that one sheep. And if you are, um, they definitely don't like certain lines of um, professions such as community activists, politicians, anybody that thinks outside of the box that is a free thinker, um, anyone that has a ability to influence the public um, or turn people in a different direction than the direction that they would have wanted. Now we're told in the Bible to to preach the gospel and to seek and save the lost. Meanwhile, we have they have tried to make us pray. Um, and it talks about it in the Bible. God speaks about everything that is all in the book of Psalms, all in the Bible. You'll, you'll see God talking about this particular program. And David uh, suffered under the hands of the program. That is the program that assassinated the Lord Jesus Christ and defamed his character and try to diminish his character. Um, it's just a, it's a slavery system. These people don't even know that they're in bondage. They think they're free because they're not being targeted as they, they think they're not being watched. They think they're not being targeted. They think they're not being held accountable until the tables turn and say one day they come to their senses and say they don't want to participate in it. And then guess what? They become a target and that's what they fear. And so they have these people that are a, um, like Homeland Security or whatever you want to call it. It's like a military, but it's not um, the type of military we used to see in the movies where they're like, what, Ten, you know, whatever, sergeant drill, whatever, you know, how they, they act all uniform and robotic, um, like killing machines. These people use different types of weaponry that were that were actually created for the military, such as um, uh, electronic weaponry. They can actually um, kind of like Star Wars and those different movies where they zap things at you and it's not a bullet, but it, it um, still affects you. Um, this stuff can be found on Google. I've Googled all of it. Um, the weapons are not even expensive. They're cheap, actually. And I watched the interview of the man that created these weaponries and how they can change sound. Like, they can uh, direct sound and noises towards you. They have the Voice of God program with, that's called Voice the Skull. And so they feel, want you to feel like God is condemning you and you have done the unpardonable sin and you are... Um, the scum of the earth and you are just worthless and and um and the community just basically dumps their their shame and their guile and their filth and their like they're making you the sacrificial lamb like how Jesus died for our sins well it's like kind of like they're making us pay for their sins in a sense like dumping all of their toxicity usually they're very accusatory and it's lies. They are liars. They are paid to lie on you, uh, fake profile you, so that they, so that the willing participants don't, they don't even look into it. They just take their word in the check. They don't care about if the information is true or false. Um, they can take one thing, one small thing and turn it into something different um, and try to frame people and set people up and and um, it makes the target very hypervigilant and very um, like on guard all the time so that they can, 
continue to lie and defame the person and say the person is crazy and so forth. But these people get an alarm um, because they do monitor you. They do listen to your conversations. So if you say, oh, I'm about to go get my hair cut or I'm about to go to the beauty shop or I'm about to go get my nails done, then they track your GPS and these people show up before you or try to get there as fast as they can because they get coupons, they get gifts, they get gift certificates, they get paid to follow you around stores and take pictures of you and record you. Um, they get an alert with your picture so that they know what you look like. And so they use your selfies. You know, they can see when you have a new hairstyle. They can see what you're wearing that day. Um, a lot of people like to pose with their car so that everybody knows what you're driving. Um, a lot of people's close loved ones also tell them all your business, like private things, um, things that never actually even happened. I've had people accuse me of saying and doing things that I never said. And I'm thinking, I never did that. Or I never said that. Why would they say that? I, I know I will remember if I said or did something like that. And I know I didn't do that. I know my character, and I know that that is not a part of my character, and I wouldn't do anything like that. I'm not perfect. I have emotions just like anybody else. I'm upset sometimes. I'm sad sometimes. I'm happy sometimes. I'm not like a robot. Like, I'm not a, a robot, and that's anybody. I've never been to someone's home where they're just always like, hi, everything's pleasant. Everything's pleasant 24-7. That's not realistic. That is, come on now, even on reality TV, all you see is these people losing their temper, snapping, throwing stuff, fighting, training our minds to think that that's the norm. That was not the norm. If you really think about it, that was not the norm, but it kind of kicked things off for this new generation um, and for the old generation that's trying to keep up with the new generation instead of teaching the new generation. Um, yeah, so when I'm making these posts about these different um, situations that I have been um, dealing with, I don't know, I have this like gel and it's like flaking up. I don't like that at all. Not cool, not cool. I don't like this, not cool. But basically, they will defame your character. Like, I don't even show people my home because I try not to, like, I'm not trying to show off. But, like, they'll have people thinking you're a deadbeat and, like, you just live like a heathen. And, you know, they have people thinking that you don't have anything and you're just a bum and you don't have any sense and you're a terrible this and a terrible that. And it's all a bunch of lies. It's defamation of character. And, um... It's from the camp of the enemy, you know. Nivea, go upstairs. Go upstairs. They have tried to set me up to be killed um, on different occasions. And they let you know that they in on it. They have their little phrases and the things that they, the signals they do to let you know. And they don't give two cents about your feelings or how it makes you feel to be betrayed. And it's just a really sick, satanic um program like if say for example if i died or if something happened to me because they want you to be afraid that something's going to happen to you um they usually get life insurance policies out on you that you never consented to or don't even know exist um and sometimes they don't want you to die because they're making too much they're getting too many benefits off you being alive what was the point I was trying to make? Um, it's satanic. It's not a. It's not from God. The program is um, designed to, you know, cause people to commit suicide. And I believe that any real suicide that any celebrity ever committed was because of this program. They don't care. They will eat their own. Um, um, most of your, like, if you are unaware of this program, most of your neighbors are, you wonder why are these people never at work? You know, like they're, they're always at home or, you know, whatever. They're, they're literally getting paid to watch you, to monitor you. 
and to um, critique you and to, it's just defamation of character. Like, like I said, you can be perfect and you do one thing wrong and they just love it. They just love to search out your imperfections and search out your, the things that they feel like are not right about you because you're just not like us. And we just feel like, you know, why? Why aren't you like us? First of all, it's like you if you really ask them, what did I ever do to you? Do do I know you? Why are you so offended by my presence? I don't understand. Like, what is it that I've ever done to you personally? Majority of you just exist. They don't like your existence. A lot of them are filled with demons. They don't like the light. They don't like that you're a child of God. They don't like that when you come around, their demons get uncomfortable. That is true. That is a real thing. You go around these people and their demons get uncomfortable. And they don't know why they don't like you. They just have made a decision to be community bullies and lie on innocent people. They've accused innocent. I've listened to so many testimonials of people being accused of being pedophiles, of being um, like the psychopath with all the dead bodies in the basement. Um they lie on you. They're, that's in their description. If you look up their manual for gang stalking, it's in their manual. That's one of the things that they are paid to do is lie on the target. Most of your Facebook followers are perps. Um, most of your commenters are perps because they don't want any potential target to know about the program or they're, they're, the potential target is probably already brainwashed to thinking that, oh, instead of looking it up and researching it, they'll think, oh, that's probably not real. No, it's real, sweetheart. Look it up, go on Google, and search in community gang stalking. And you're gonna see all types of stuff pop up on Google, including a um, their guidebook. They have a guidebook that shows how they, they describe everything in the guidebook and I do have a video on that and they don't like that I do video them. I do video um, and I expose them because I feel like they are terrible people. They've taken too many innocent lives and it's a lot of people suffering under their hands unknowingly and thinking that they're crazy and thinking that it's all in their head and it's not it's a program designed to make you lose your mind or kill yourself or stuff like that anybody can sign you up for it any any dumb narcissist that doesn't like your eyebrows or doesn't like you know that your ears stick out or doesn't like your personality or doesn't like that you didn't let them bully or run over you oh they definitely don't like when you have a backbone um, they don't like when you are spiritual. They just don't like anything. They're never satisfied. It doesn't matter what you do. They'll they'll never be satisfied because they are evil. They are narcissists. They feed they fuel off of your positive energy. They love sucking it out of you and replacing your goodness with their evilness. So they can walk away refreshed and you sitting up there dumbfounded, like, man, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel terrible after being around this person? I was feeling fine before. It's all demonic, but it's also in the natural as well and people that are unaware and very aware.